Guys, welcome back to Lawson's Car Reviews. My name's Tristan, and today I think I've got the most special car that I've had on the channel yet, which is a 2021 Toyota Supra, and it is the premium edition. It's probably my favorite or second favorite car that I've driven yet. So let's take a look around it. Let's see how you guys like it, and I'll give you my honest review. Let's get it. So unless you've been living under a bush, this is the Mark V Supra. So the Mark IV is the most famous Supra. That is the one that Paul Walker in the Fast and F uh, Furious movies kind of made this car iconic and it's had a big resurgence. But this is the Mark V and I know a lot of people uh, had some bad things to say about it because it was partnered with BMW so BMW makes the engine and it's got a BMW interior but the shell and everything else is Toyota um, and I'll be honest with you in the beginning I was one of those people that was totally knocking the car and saying that it should be a fully Japanese build but the car has actually grown on me and the more I think about it it's kind of dumb if you really think about it BMW are renowned for making awesome inline six engines so why not put one of the best inline six engines in this vehicle then you don't have all the uh, cost of research and development and not only that BMW make awesome interiors so it makes sense to have a BMW interior and a BMW engine because it's one of the best companies that you could ever partner with anyway because the car looks awesome on the exterior kudos to the uh, Toyota engineers for coming up with the design based off the FT1 concept car but the interior is great and the engine is fantastic now since this is the 2021 it has a 47 horsepower bump so the original 2020s came with 335 horsepower on paper everybody knows that they actually made more power than that but this one actually comes with 382 horsepower so it's a good bump and there are some things that are different on this 2021 model versus the 2020 model so one of the first things that is different on the 2021s is you do see that you've got the Supra logo on these uh, four piston brakes the rotors at the front are actually 13.7 inches and the front tires are 255 um, 35 on the sidewall on a 19 inch rim and it has a staggered setup so at the back of the car you get much more meat you've actually got a 275 and a, 30, and a 35 sidewall on a 19 inch rim so you get more meat so that you can put the power down and it comes with a 13.6 on the back so it's actually 13.6 uh, inch rotor on the back 13.7 on the front so they're almost identical gives you good stopping power and you get these awesome Michelin Pilot Spot um, tires 
they're not the Cup 2s but they are a better all-weather tyre than the Cup 2s and they still give you pretty pretty good grip so you'll see on this particular model too you get the carbon fibre look on the wing mirrors and you also get the turn signals here which is a nice look the one thing that I love about the car is its overall shape it's kind of bubbly and it's really grown on me and I love the daytime running lights absolutely awesome and they're so long look how long they are they go all the way up like that when you have the full beams on you'll see these LEDs here they shine at you and dazzle you at night so the one thing that I do not like about the car is all of these vents not all of them but most of the vents are actually fake <coughs> so this vent is functional and the bottom of this one is functional but the rest of the vents are non-functional this is a fake vent if you come over here this is a fake vent right here these are fake vents um, and even at the back of the car I believe there's some more fake vents but overall that's really my only gripe about the car it looks awesome the back of the car to me is what is the best you've got these amazing um, exhaust tips which you can get a two liter Supra this is the three liter so this is the big daddy and the two liter comes with slightly smaller tips I believe um, and it doesn't sound as good since it's got a two liter engine instead of the uh, three liter inline six um, and then you've got this very unique style backup light at the back of the car really reminds me of Formula One car and just the rear diffuser in my opinion looks awesome you got the Supra script that's the same as the old school Supras and then you've also got this GR badge which if you don't know what this means it actually means Gazoo Racing which is Toyota's racing division um, so now they've got the GR Yaris they've got the GR uh, Corolla coming out the GR Supra now the key fob is actually quite nice but it's a standard Toyota key fob I believe they should have put GR Supra on the back just to make it look a bit different now if you pop this hatch it's a decent sized trunk I believe it is a 10.2 or 10.5 cubic feet trunk and you've got the nice super super script there and this particular model comes with the JBL sound system and you do get these two subwoofers at the back so when you crank this up it sounds really nice move to the interior of the car you can see like I said it has the uh, JBL sound system and you've got a speaker here you've got a speaker down there you've got the two subs in the back uh, it's a very nice um, door panel if you ask me it's pretty plain as far as the styling but I think it's quite it looks good you have a chrome looking uh, super nameplate here as you walk in and you do get two memory seat settings on these and the seats themselves look really good I really like this silver piece here uh, it makes the car seem very premium and then as far as the steering wheel <sighs> the only thing that I dislike is this I feel like should be silver around here and it should say GR right here and maybe super in the middle um, the Toyota badge is not bad but this bit looks a bit cheap uh, they could have done something different with that and then also the steering wheel itself is very thin BMW steering wheels especially in sports cars are kind of thick and this wheel is good but uh, the ones on the BMW are definitely better in my opinion the dash here is awesome it's very plain um, but it shows you everything that you need and I actually like a simple dash and you do have a heads-up display that shows you your speed and the speed limit and then on the 2021s you actually get an 8.8 .8, uh, screen and as you can see it's got all of the uh, safety features here it's got trajectory when you put it in reverse and you try and turn and then the car does come with wireless charging down here 
and the car is mated to this 8-speed automatic and if you're familiar with BMWs you'll realize all of this is BMW now everything is soft touch and very nice there's not much storage in the car you've got this little cubby here and you've got a very small glove box which is full so I won't even show you that and you've got these cool AC vents and all the other controls are here which like I said it's exactly the same as what BMWs have and BMWs are very intuitive very easy to use as far as the interior features so I really have no complaints if Toyota was going to partner with anyone BMW was the best person to partner with let's go ahead and take a look under the hood so in classic BMW fashion you do have to give a pull twice on the lever to open the hood um, and that's how you get it open the hood is actually rather rather large um, but I think it looks pretty cool and you do on the side get this superscript right here um, what are we looking at so let me go ahead and give you some of the specs on the engine so as I already said makes 382 horsepower uh, 365 foot-pounds of torque the car does 0 to 60 in 3.8 3 to 3.9 seconds which is extremely quick and it does the quarter mile I've seen varying times anywhere between 12.1 and 12.5 seconds maximum top speed is limited to 155 miles an hour which seems to be the magic number that most cars are limited to nowadays and it's mated to an 8-speed ZF automatic transmission which shifts extremely quickly miles per gallon is 22 in the city 30 on the highway which to me is a great number considering how much performance this car has and the car also weighs 3,397 pounds and MSRP it's supposed to be around $54,590 but when I've been looking at these as for, to buy them they've been going for the high 50s all the way up to the mid 60s so it's it's very much like the C8 Corvette where they say it's going to be one price but then there's a whole bunch of dealer markup because these cars are so coveted but like I said this is a BMW inline 6 engine and it makes an awesome amount of power this is shared with BMW's Z4 car or Z4 as you say in the States but I'm gonna put a link in the description go ahead and take a look when you watch this car drag race the Z4 it smokes it every single time so Toyota's obviously done some kind of trickery to make this car a lot faster than the Z4 so one more thing I forgot to mention is the car does have sport mode buttons so you can have it in regular mode or sport mode it does have an active exhaust as you notice back there and it indicates on here when it's in sport mode and then when you go back into normal but when you turn the active exhaust on the exhaust makes way more pops way more crackles it's awesome and when you put the car into reverse you'll see that that offside wing mirror dips down the car does have um, all kinds of safety features um, as far as active cruise control and lane keep assist and all of those goodies as well as plenty of airbags for your safety and you do have an option on this car where you can tilt the mirrors in by pressing this button right here and you'll see the mirrors fold in they also do that when you lock the car and unlock it they automatically fold in and fold back out so without further ado let's go take this thing for a spin because it's awesome <laughs> Here we go. Slow roll from 10, 11 miles an hour. One, two, three, let's go. Woo! <laughs> Man, you can spin the tires so easily in this car. 
so easily. I hope you guys can hear the exhaust coming through the cameras. If not, I'll show you some exhaust clips anyway of when I'm driving it, but the car just feels <laughs> awesome as far as power. The way that it delivers the power is so different than if you're driving a Mustang or a Camaro because it's turbocharged. And like I've said before in other videos, it's easy to make power out of these inline six turbocharged engines. You just need a downpipe and a tune. And if you want to go more than that, you know, with different injectors or bigger turbo, you can do that too. But it's just so easy to make power out of these cars. <laughs> It is not lacking in power or torque. To me, I know that the numbers, zero to 60 and quarter mile, are very similar to the Mustang. But in my opinion, this feels faster and it feels a lot more agile and light on its feet. And the ZF8 speed really does the business. I'm gonna try it in manual mode right now. Woo, it shifts quick. It shifts quick. There we go. Woo! Man, it shifts really fast. Holy cow. Woo! The brakes do what it's supposed to do. Downshift, fourth gear, third. There we go. Woo! Man, I love this car. I'm gonna be honest. I was hating on this car in the beginning. Let me go back to auto. I was hating on this car in the beginning because I was annoyed that they, that Toyota partnered with BMW, but I'll be honest, now that I'm driving one, I'm completely a believer. If I had the money to buy a SS Camaro or a uh, 5.0 Mustang or, or a Bullet Mustang, somewhere around that region, I honestly would probably pick this car which might sound crazy to some people, but I'm really impressed with it. The one thing that I'm gonna say is the car handles well and it soaks up bumps well, so it's not like a, a really bumpy ride, like a Subaru STI or anything like that, but what I will say is <coughs> the steering feel is not, it's not the best, it's a little bit numb, so in the Camaro, when you go into a corner and you turn, the the steering wheel kind of weightens up and you really start to feel exactly where the wheels are on the ground and it gives you a little bit more confidence. And I think that's why the Camaro SS um, has better track times than what the Supra does, not just the power numbers. But the turbo sound and you can hear a little whistling noise. It's actually louder than I thought it was gonna be, which to me is awesome. The only other car that I've driven that I like more than this one at this point, or I like them close to the same, I'd have to drive them back to back, is the SS Camaro that I drove, which was a two SS. This is nicer on the inside, but that car looked good on the outside and it was more than fast enough. And uh, obviously it made an awesome noise with its, uh, V8 engine, 6.2 liter. So this is on par with that. So yes, this is up there as being one of the top two cars that I've driven that I've enjoyed driving. That's how much I like this. So thank you Toyota for partnering with BMW. Um, I think that you guys did a good job. I'm gonna go ahead and put my loss and spot up on the screen right now and you'll see that obviously it's going to get a good score don't forget guys like the video comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching